Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, it's a long requested lesson from my grade eights and I keep forgetting to upload this video to the channel. So uh, here we go. We're just gonna uh, start by uh, making, uh, doing a quick lesson on how to make selections using the polygon or lasso tool, uh, how to do some simple color changes, and then we'll go into how to refine edges of selections. Uh, so this should be pretty quick. So I loaded in a picture of here of a, just of a random person's face. And uh, let's make a selection of his eyes and, um, and uh, change the colors here. So I'm going to start by zooming in on the eyes. To zoom in, you just hold down Alt and roll the mouse wheel. And uh, we've got a clear shot of his eyes here. And what we're going to do now is we need to make a selection. So when we go to change the color of this photo, we're not changing the color of his entire face. So I'm going to go down to the Polygon Lasso tool. In order to get there, we're just going to right click on the Lasso tool selection and go to Polygon Lasso tool. And I'm just going to make a very quick trace of his eyes. And you do this by kind of like placing pins. Every time you move the mouse and click, every time I'm clicking here, it is pinning this little selection whippet um, uh, to at the point where you click. And then you just kind of complete the selection by clicking there. And now I've made a selection of the eye itself. And then to change the color, we're just going to go to Image, Adjustments, and then we can go into Color Balance. And then you can tweak the colors here, change things around, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green. Uh, that looks pretty good. Maybe in the highlights we'll add a touch more green. Excellent. And then we'll just right click, deselect. And now we have two different colored eyes. So let's change the other eye color right now. So we're going to start by clicking and selecting around the eyes. Same thing with the polygon lasso tool. Click, 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 all the way around. And if you find yourself that you can't complete the selection, you can actually confirm the selection just by hitting the Enter key in your keyboard, and it'll complete the selection for you. Or you can press Escape, and that will cancel the selection. Now we'll go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance, and let's add a little bit of cyan to this eye here. Go into the highlights, add a little bit more. Okay, deselect by going by right-clicking, go to deselect, or you can go to Select and then deselect up there. Excellent. Now we have two different color eyes. A little off-putting but that will work. But let's say we wanted to make uh, a selection and change his eyebrow color here. So you might just think, okay, well, I'll make a selection of his eyebrows just like we did before with the eyes. All right, so we did a quick selection there of his eyebrows. Then if you go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance, and you go to maybe change it to like kind of like a ready color there, and right click, Deselect. It looks okay, but we're getting a problem here of this hard edge are very much on and off for the color. Uh, and that's because uh, we did not feather our selection. You don't need to feather your selection when you're doing things such as irises and eyes. But uh, if you're doing hair, you don't want to see this hard edge. It kind of makes it look a little bit more unrealistic. So I'm going to press Control Z to go back, Control Z to go back one more time. Oh, did they change the hotkey on me? Ah, well, they made it so they removed that feature in Photoshop. Anyways, let's move on to the other eye, eyebrow here. We'll kind of see the difference as I refine the edge. Don't worry about that undo state later. So I'm making a selection of this eyebrow. And now that I made the selection, we're going to go up here and we're going to click on the Select and Mask option. Uh, or you can right click and go Select and Mask here. And when we go to Select and Mask, I like putting my transparency all the way to 100. And it isolates the selection there. I'm then going to feather my selection, maybe shift the edge a little bit, add a little bit more feather. And you can see now we have this like smoother transition, uh, almost like blurring the lines between your selection and not. We'll click OK, Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. And now we can add the red, deselect. And you can see it looks a lot more realistic. Hard line here, and we got a smooth transition of the red over there. Excellent. All right, so hope that lesson was helpful today, and we will see you all later.